Welcome to West Virginia, wild and wonderful. Um, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, do me a favor and hit that little icon down at the bottom right of your screen and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you enjoy watching overlanding and off-roading content like this that we're about to get into. I had to wake up at freaking 2 a.m. this morning to take us over a seven and a half, eight hour drive from Rock Hill, South Carolina to West Virginia to knock out a bucket list trail of mine. This is another popular adventure route here in West Virginia and Virginia. This is the Allegheny Discovery Route. Um, this adventure route has tons of scenic overlooks, tons of waypoints. It's got some off-roading, some river crossing, waterfalls. It's got everything. And I've been looking forward to doing this for a long time. It's just so far away from me. It's been difficult finding the time to do this trail. Um, but now that we're here, I can finally knock this thing out. Um, with me today, is this little lot lizard I picked up at the last gas station I went to. Just kidding. For those of you that do not know my wife, this is my beautiful wife, Paulina. I had to practically beg her to come along with me this Labor Day weekend um, to get out and explore an adventure. We haven't done this in a hot minute. Um, in fact, last time she did something like this with me was Cape Lookout almost two years ago. Um, so anyways, I've got her to tag along with me as my passenger princess and Tagging along with me as my tail gunner is my buddy Louise somewhere over there in the parking lot. Um, Louise invited his buddy Joan. I haven't met Joan yet. I don't even know if he's going to show up. Hopefully he does. If he does, it's going to be really late tonight. Um, we're about to start this trailhead. We're going to start off with Bear Overlook, um, Bear Rocks Overlook, and we're like 30 minutes from it. So let's get this adventure started. I am super excited. This is going to be a great way to spend our Labor Day weekend. Ain't that right? It hadn't even been 10 minutes into starting the route on our way up to Bear Rock, where we came across a couple of kind individuals in their tricked out, retired ambulance, broken down in the road and in need of a tow up the hill. They were in a blind spot and just needed to get to a safe flat space where they could fix it, so we figured why not. We hooked up our Yankum snatch rope and soft shackles, put the truck into four low, and got to pulling. We made it to Bear Rocks and nothing short of interesting. I found a really nice guy um, stuck on the side of the road and um, he lost all power uh, with his vehicle. So I hooked up my Yankum um, kinetic rope and pulled him up the hill. And so far, so good. Nothing difficult at all, super easy. And we have made it to the top um, where the parking lot is. So let's see if we can get this guy to a stop so that way he can get his vehicle fixed. <laughs> no, I was thinking the same thing. You Thank crazy. you, man. No What's problem, dude. Colin, dude. Max. Nice to meet you, man. So Poor ladies are currently walking back up the hill. I had right to now. call mine and be like, hey, I'm <laughs> Y'all got your free ride? <laughs> Well, that was an eventful trip up to the top, but here we are, bare rocks. This is a one mile loop trail and we're just stopping here because um, we got some progress that needs to be made after that little debacle earlier. <laughs> uh, so we're not gonna take it much further, but check out this view.
After saying goodbye to our new friends, we continued on through the Dali Sod's wilderness, with our next waypoint being the Bell Knob Tower. When we arrived, I decided to put the drone up to scout it out to see if it was worth checking out, since it was about a mile walk. It seemed destroyed and unsafe, so we pressed on. made it to our next waypoint which is Seneca Rock. Um, Colin and Louise went to go check it out while I stayed in the car and napped um, and they said it was worth it to go see so we're on our way to go see the watering hole now and yeah. Good morning, begin day two. Yesterday we explored the Dolly Sods Wilderness as well as some of its waypoints there. Uh, pretty cool little area, nothing, nothing crazy there. We also explored Seneca Rock and the Seneca Rock Waterhole. That was really cool as well. And we happened to camp right near Seneca Rock, so now it is time to hit the trails and we are going to be hitting up Dry Fork as well as Canane Loop. That's one that I've been looking forward to because finally it's gonna get a little bit technical off-roady. Basically, we'll have to air down our tires and put in four-wheel drive, so <laughs> hopefully it'll be interesting. We continued the scenic drive down some blacktop on our way to the Canaan Valley, with the Dry Fork Crossing being the only thing standing between us. This river can get pretty high during the wet season, but due to the long period without rain, it was quite underwhelming upon our arrival. We are approaching the first Dry Fork River crossing, and if it looks anything like these creeks and rivers that we've been passing, it's probably going to be bone dry. So let's see what we're up against. Made it to Canaan Loop Trail. Starts here, or maybe further down that road, I guess. I'm not sure which. Um, Juan did not show up to camp last night, so we're going to sit here and wait for him because apparently he's in the area somewhere. So, really? And apparently we have full reception down here, so we haven't this pretty much this entire time. So, um, we're going to chill here, air down our tires, and wait for Juan to show up, and hopefully he shows up at a reasonable time. Two minutes, bro. For one tire? For one tire. That's crazy. You helping me out or what? Huh? Right, 
we are starting the Canaan Loop Trail. Uh, I'm excited because we finally get to do a little bit of off-roading on this trip. It was all dirt roads yesterday. Um, so it's going to be nice to put it in four-wheel drive and do something a little more technical. I'm also a little excited because I installed my uh, new suspension, my new ride shocks, not too long ago. And I finally get to put it to use and see how they perform off-road. I haven't done any adjustments on it yet. It's kind of right out of the box. So I'll test it out and see how it feels. And if I need to make any adjustments as I go, I will. But I'm looking forward to putting these shocks to the test. And this is going to be their maiden voyage. I want to smell that clutch, boy! Keep it going. You gotta give her the beans, that's all.
just completed the Canaan Loop Trail. It was not difficult at all, a little bit technical. Um, had to put it in four low maybe once, and that was it. Um, and even then, that probably wasn't even necessary. Back up? Yep, airing back up our tires. Um, so now we're pulling off to the side and airing up our tires and going to find another pl good place to go. After airing back up our tires, we decided to check out another waypoint close by, Blackwater Falls. It was pretty busy when we showed up, being a holiday weekend and perfect weather, so we didn't stay for long, but the views were worth it. Next, we hit the road again and ended up on another super rough dirt road with a couple washouts, but nothing difficult. <laughs> nah, I mean you could take this spot here. I'd like to take this spot. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. You, yeah, you don't have sliders. Yeah, I definitely would. Yeah, I'll just. No, Jamal, I think you'd be fine. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> not, not in the Land Cruiser. But FTFJ, maybe. Yeah, it's FJ. I'm not trying to fuck up the body. No, if you look at this part.
the good morning. <laughs> um, recap of yesterday, we completed Canaan Loop Trail, we completed Douglas Road, and uh, checked out a couple of waypoints like Black Waterfalls. Um, and we were running out of time. It was pushing 6.30. We crossed the second Dry Fork River Crossing, met a lovely group of people um, that were overlanding just like us. They came all the way from freaking Maine uh, down here to West Virginia. Um, and we were struggling to find a campsite and we found this very kind lady <laughs> going in the opposite direction who also happened to be camping. She was uh, driving around on her little, uh, little golf cart and um, she basically gave us a little tour of all the campsites around and said, hey, there are a couple more down here if y'all want to take them. And we got very lucky pulling up to camp right before dark. So anyways, uh, we've gotten a pretty good start to the morning. It's currently 9.30 and we've started our, making some leeway. So let's get day three started. All right, part of doing what we do is improvising, and uh, this is exactly what we're doing right now, is improvising. So we are um, we're running short on time, and it being Labor Day weekend, there's not a lot of um, spaces out here, and spaces are already hard enough to come by as is. So we hit up a, uh, um, we, we were eating at a restaurant and found a flyer in there that um, had some campground information on it that was only like five minutes from us. So we called the, called the people, and they, uh, made some room for us but we had to improvise a little bit so <laughs> the only level space that he had on his property right here is um, completely overgrown with grass so we had to actually use our vehicles to flatten everything out and so here we are 
um, just short of nightfall and rainfall. Um, we're improvising here on the Allegheny Discovery Route, mowing some lawn. <laughs> Was that uh? All right. That I was just... not the chair. <laughs> well, it's about to fall off of them. Oh, nice, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn. After quickly getting settled into camp, we decided to take some time to get some well-needed rest, waiting out the rain, and preparing for the final stretch of the ADR. Alright, good morning. We are beginning day four of the Allegheny Discovery Route. This is going to be the final day of this route. Um, We've got about 60 miles left of ground to cover, so we're gonna knock this out. We just left the quaint, cute little town of Monterey, Virginia, a nice little place. We gassed up, had lunch yesterday, and uh, set up camp in there. Um, we don't have much of this trail left to cover, and I think a lot of this is gonna be pavement and dirt road for the rest of the way, so sit back and enjoy the views with us. Adventures like this are a lot of fun, and you never really know what to expect. Some trips are rough, others are smooth sailing. This was definitely one of those smooth sailing trips, but is easily at the top of my list for being the most scenic that I've explored so far on the East Coast. This route has much to offer the average overlander, with plenty of gorgeous views and a touch of some rough trails to keep it interesting. I will without a doubt be returning to the Alleghenies to explore the many parts in the area that we seem to leave untouched, and I hope you will be there to join me on that journey as well. As always guys, thanks for watching, and remember to have fun, be safe, tread lightly, and I'll see you out on the trails.